Thank you for choosing Henrico and Param Doctors Hospital for your spine surgery. Our team is ready to make sure you have a successful outcome, and this video will tell you what to expect at each stage of the process. When the decision for surgery has been made, you'll receive a call from the central scheduling coordinator. You and your family member, whom we call the coach, will be informed of the arrival time and the designated area at Henrico or Param Doctors Hospital. You'll be greeted by one of our hospital representatives who will explain the registration process and provide the required forms to be completed. One of the first steps in your spine surgery experience is the pre-admission testing, which will take place a week or two before surgery. The nurse interview will include your health history, lab work, diagnostics tests, and medications you're currently taking. On the same day, you will attend a spine class where our highly trained healthcare professionals will prepare you for the day of surgery and eliminate the fear of the unknown. The educator will walk you through the surgery process and answer any questions you may have. The whole purpose of spine class is just to prepare patients about what to expect coming in and having surgery. Uh, we invite the family member who we call the coach. We talk about all the preparation before surgery, what's needed in terms of medicines that you can take, what they can expect from the pre-admissions testing interview. Then we talk about what you will expect here um, when you get to the hospital in terms of when we get our patients up out of bed, um, how we do that gently, log rolling technique, all of those things are reviewed. And then we tell the patients um, at the end of class what they can expect from therapy, what they should be doing when they go home. On the morning of your surgery, you'll arrive at either Henrico or Parham Doctors Hospital and report to the specified area. You will be taken back to the pre-op holding area while your family will be asked to report to the waiting area for your surgeon. Please advise your family to notify the person at the desk of their arrival, as the surgeon will contact them in the waiting room when the surgery is complete. Your surgery process will begin with about one hour in the pre-op unit. Here, a nurse and an anesthesiologist will visit with you. You'll have an IV started and you'll be given any medications needed for your surgery. Your surgeon will also see you prior to surgery to answer any last minute questions. You'll soon fall asleep and be taken into the operating room. Before you know it, you'll be waking up in the post-anesthesia care unit, known as PACU. Your blood pressure, pulse, respiratory rate, and temperature will be checked frequently. Once you have awakened and are comfortable, you'll be moved to a private room. Since it's natural to have some pain after surgery and during the healing process, your nurse will monitor your pain using a 0 to 10 pain scale, with 0 being no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain possible. Your doctor and nurse will work to find the right pain medication and treatment that works for you. Depending on the type of procedure, the surgeon may prescribe a lower back brace for lumbar surgery or a neck brace for cervical surgery. Your therapist will teach you how to put on and wear your brace and ensure a comfortable fit. The brace is very important after back surgery because the spine needs a chance to heal. If we let people just go out and do their regular things, they're gonna forget what they're supposed to do and they're just gonna be, oh, let me go get that out of the cabinet, you know. And the back brace gives the patient a reminder that, okay, oh, I'm not supposed to bend that way. I'm not supposed to twist. I'm not supposed to reach down. So ultimately, brace really is a reminder that you've got to follow these precautions. And at the same time, it's going to give the back support. The best and only appropriate exercise at this point is walking. Try to go on short walks at various times throughout the day. Your physical therapist will monitor your progress and help get you back to healthy physical activity. It's really important to learn your back precautions, the BLTs, no bending, no lifting, no twisting, no sitting more than 30 minutes at a time. Your physical therapist will be a vital part of your healing process by reteaching you how to do everyday things, like how to properly walk up and down stairs. They will have stairs to get into their home and often have stairs to get um, around their home. Sometimes it's painful, but they can learn that even though it hurts, it's not doing any harm to their spine surgery, and that when they know how to do it safely, they'll feel confident doing that at home. Your occupational therapist will also work with you to teach you how to use the equipment that will help you manage through the healing process. 
I would say the best thing about occupational therapy is it gives our patients a chance to get back into their life. At the end of your hospital stay, your nurse will provide you with discharge instructions. Your last responsibility when you arrive home is to diligently follow those instructions. That way, you'll heal and get back to your normal routine in the shortest amount of time. When surgery becomes necessary, we have highly trained orthopedic and neurosurgical surgeons who, along with our team, will provide you the best possible care. And remember, you're only a phone call away from your team of specialists who will be happy to answer any of your questions. Both Henrico and Parham Doctors Hospitals have been awarded disease-specific care certification as centers of excellence for spinal fusion by the Joint Commission. Our hospitals have been recognized for excellence by health grades, making us the region's most honored orthopedic program. We are the standard for treatment in Central Virginia. If you would like any information about our spine program, please contact Karen Mitchell, our spine program coordinator at 804-967-5352.